My name is Tabitha, and this is my channel, We The Boxer. So, it's been a minute. Um, the holidays uh, felt long. Um, so, there's that. The kids were home for two weeks, and then here in Ontario, in the GTA, everything got pushed back. And then we were doing virtual learning for two weeks almost, and then snow days. So the kids have finally gone back to school today, and now I can actually make a video. A whole month where I couldn't do anything because there was always someone who needed something. So I am going to do a long overdue uh, second half of my holiday book haul, um, which I, I my husband took me to the Value Village again on Christmas Eve and I picked out all of my Christmas presents. <laughs> so uh, this will be all of the books that I picked up on Christmas Eve. Um, so starting with a series that I finished purchasing um, and they're all a little different. The first one, um, again, uh, I've kind of glanced over the whole Orson Scott card thing in my intro video, but I just, I really love the, the Ender series. And I have uh, Ender Shadow, which I haven't read yet, but I picked up the rest of the Shadow series while I was there. So there's Shadow of the Hegemon, I think, I think that's how, I always want to say Hegemon, but that's not how it's pronounced. I think it, I think it is Hegemon. He hegemon or whatever. Anyway, got this. And then unfortunately everything else is not the same size, but whatever, it was all there. Um, so then there's Shadow Puppets. And finally, Shadow of the Giant. So yay, got that series all collected. Now I can actually read it all at once. Um, surprisingly, I also found this there. It's the Illumini Files, book one, uh, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, I know that this has some mixed reviews. I know it is like a mixed media thing, which is very intriguing, uh, but I was just really excited that it was there and I get to see it. And we'll see if I like it. So there's that. And then a whole lot more paperbacks and some I'm really excited about. Uh, I have yet to start, I have The Gunslinger. Um, I've yet to start it, but I ended up getting book two while I was there. Stephen King's Dark Tower book two, the drawing of the three. So and there's another one. Uh, another author that I, oh, okay. I had to read some short stories and I read, had to read some um, Margaret Atwood's survival in high school, which is one of her, it's her book about Canadian literature, I believe. I had to read that in high school and I just hated it. I hated it so much. And for the longest time, I hated Margaret Atwood. I just, mm, every time I heard her name, could not not say that I hated her. And then a friend of mine described to me Oryx and Crake. I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. So I read it and I was like, oh God, this is actually really good. So I finished the Mad Adam trilogy and then I read The Handmaid's Tale. Um, and I think that's all I've read of hers by now, but I like her as an author, although her endings are kind of, mm, she kind of misses the endings, but right up until the ending, stories are really good. Uh, but as a person, I heard that she's she's a bit sour but my dislike of the author as opposed to her art aside I got a lovely copy of Cat's Eye that was there and I love that cover as opposed to one of the newer covers so there's that uh, another sci-fi classic The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton I mean I really love Jurassic Park really good um, I remember someone in high school reading this book and again describing it to me I'm like oh that sounds really interesting 
and it went on to the TBR back burner for decades. And now I got that, so that's cool. And I know in my last TBR I had, uh, what was it now? Oh yeah, Artemis. <laughs> uh, now I have the Martian and it's not the Matt Damon cover, so yay. And I also got book one of the Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. Genevieve Cogman. I know I keep seeing all the different books of this, but they're not usually labeled as like one, two, three, not numerically organized. So I'm always confused, but I believe this is number one. So yay. And another, a new release-ish. Uh, I have found a copy of The Lost Apothecary uh, by Sarah Penner. Yes, it's Penner. Um, again, I hear mixed reviews about this, but it's got a really pretty cover, and I love uh, Apothecary in a title, so why not? There's that. I'm not going to really discuss any of the uh, contents of these books because I'm really tired right now, and I just want to get a book, out, uh, a video out. So, deal with it. I'm just really happy that I finally get to tape and I can show you the books that I got in my book haul. So, mmm. Uh, <laughs> there's two more. Uh, I got Neil Stevenson's Seven Eves, Seven Evans. I don't know how you want to pronounce that, but it's highly recommended. Highly recommended author, book, um, I've never read any of Stevenson's stuff, although it's on a bunch of lists of things that I should read and that I would probably like. So it's a brick. So we'll find out. Oh goodness, there's pictures. Where'd they go? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> so that'll go on to the bookshelf too. And the last one. Scratch my nose here, they're really itchy. The last one I got here is a Pulitzer Prize winner. It is The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. Chabon, Chabon. I should have looked that up. Why do I always do that to myself? Um, again, award and critically acclaimed author who is on several lists of things that I have in all my journals. Never got around to reading. So I saw this there and I was like, yeah, let's pick that up another brick. Why do I do this to myself? Anyway, so hopefully, now, hopefully, please let the kids stay in school because I would like to get back to my hobby and back to all you people so I can actually get back to doing this on a regular schedule because it's turning out to be rather fun. So that's second half of my holiday book haul a month after the holidays have happened and hopefully you like the video it's a nice short one didn't talk too much and uh, let me know what you think of the books if you've read any of them uh, if you have anything else to suggest based on these uh, even if you didn't like the books let me know down in the comments anyway that is the video my name's Tabitha and I'll see you in the next one Bye.